Welcome back to another episode of MLO on Trail. Join us as we take our 7.3 liter Ford F-250 and four-wheel camper down to the beaches of North Carolina for a group trip led by our guide, Ron Harrington of Ridgeback Guide Service. Aye, aye, Captain. But here's the twist. We're not just driving there, we have to hop on a ferry to reach our destination. Along the way, we'll be capturing breathtaking views, sharing tips and tricks for off-road recovery, and cooking up some delicious food. But be careful what you wish for, because this island oasis might just turn its back on you when you least expect it. Yeah, in, in case we evacuate or something like that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Our journey begins with a long drive from Pennsylvania to North Carolina, with one final stop before we board the ferry. Not only do we need to fuel up the trucks, we also need to top off our four-wheel camper's 20-gallon fresh water tank, as we'll be off-grid for the next five days. Thank you. Uh, just know Saturday is supposed to be extremely windy and bad when we have winds that are like 30 to 35 it's supposed to gust over 48 to 50 all day on Saturday so it's gonna well, be tough. Well, that is tough Saturday. Tough. Are y'all camping? Yeah. 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 Just stay in contact with the park ranger. I'm getting my sea legs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, we're pulling out. We're pulling out. We're pulling out. We're first here, so we can literally, I can email everybody and be like, hey, we were, we're down over on this side. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Going, when we came out by the cabins, if you go to the right, it's 11 miles down in there. Yeah. The fact that the ranger wasn't there and I didn't get to talk to him, but what those guys said. Yeah. I mean, tomorrow after we do whatever we eat in the morning, I want to go talk to the ranger and yeah. find out what's going on. Yeah, agreed. Actually, thanks. After traversing the sandy beaches of the Outer Banks for the afternoon, we finally settled on the perfect location to set up camp for the weekend. And we are going to show you how a four-wheel camper opens and why it is so easy and so elegant. Absolutely. Six of these latches all around the truck. Um, so we'll finish up getting these other three undone. We're going to get it popped up and then uh, it's that have, easy. have a little more room to organize everything inside. So it doesn't matter if you open the front or the back first. I usually start with the back just because it's the first one right here so you're gonna lift on this panel a little bit there's a slide lock there this is kind of, to kind of secure this in place you'll just wrap around that and then snap that up there i'm going to push with this piece here and you hear it snap into place and then there is another last clasp here to kind of hold this up out of your way all right so that's how easy it is to pop open a four-wheel camper it takes two seconds, it's amazing. Um, I'm a very OCD person and this place doesn't look so good right now. It's really not great. I, I'm kind of surprised we showed it to you in the condition it's in. So we're gonna set up a time lapse and get this place completely cleaned up and looking good for the weekend. Yeah, because there's a lot of storage in this camper. Um, and we are not utilizing it right we are now. Definitely
Well, would you look at the house we've created for the week, <laughs> Joe? It's yeah. come a long way. Yeah, that 15 minutes of organizing really paid off because this camper looks absolutely beautiful right now. Um, so we kind of got everything packed away. Uh, we have a lot of stuff packed in here. We're basically camping out here for five nights. We're cooking dinner for everyone tomorrow night, which is about 20 people. And we have basically all of our food um, for all of us kind of packed in here. And there is a built-in ice maker, which is super nice if you like to make cocktails or if you want to put something on ice. After a long day of travel and camp setup, we took the time to relax under the stars and enjoy the beach before our clients began to show up in the morning. Dead in the morning, on the beach, sun shining. Life better is than good, that. baby. Life is good. Prepping some food for later. Getting some things done for our uh, clients coming in today. It's been a gorgeous morning. Coffee's been good. We're uh, enjoying life before uh, some more excitement happens yeah. later today. Our group for the weekend consisted of one Tacoma, one Forerunner, a Lexus LX570, two Jeeps, two Tundras, three Ford F-250s with four-wheel campers, and four Sprinter vans. Yeah, so we're running out to the ranger station right now. Uh, when we got on the ferry, they had already left for the day, so we're running out there to get our permits and sticker. Saturday, there might be some inclement weather coming in, uh, possible winds up to 50 miles an hour, which is pretty serious here out on the beach. Um, so we're gonna go see if that situation is still the same and see kind of what our plan is for Saturday, because um, they might need to move us down to one of the other wider parts of the beach. With our suspicions of harsh weather confirmed, we would have to move camp to a storm shelter the following day. In the meantime, we set out with our good friend and client Joe to do some sightseeing on the island. Hey everybody, as you can see it's a little windy, but I'm in the truck with other Joe and his Tacoma that we built out at our uh, PA location. How are you enjoying the truck so far, Joe? Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah? yeah. Having a good time? Yeah, it's perfect for this. Yeah, it just wants to go. You know what I mean? Like this is this is what this thing was built for. Yeah. Yeah, like we're we're going 25. We're not going over the speed limit. But we're not really slowing down over sections where you probably should go slower than 25. Right. Because this is, I mean, that's what's fun. Right. So I'm sure that we're yard sailing everything that is inside the four-wheel camper at the moment. It's been kind of decommissioned, but they have a big like renovation plan here in a few years. So unfortunately, we won't be able to get to the top of the lighthouse today, but still, yeah, I think that opens up the potential for another trip like this. As we made our way back to camp, we set in for our first unscheduled recovery lesson of the weekend. Yeah, it's starting to move. Just go slow. Keep going. Here ended the first lesson. Now, if we're in civil, if we were civilization, Stephen would be buying me some beers. <laughs> yeah, it's a good, it's a good spot. God's country, un unbelievable. So this is a dark sky park. Yeah. Sunrise is beautiful. Yeah. This is what it's all about, getting out here and doing stuff like this. Yeah, it's amazing stuff. So.
Before we ventured down to the storm shelter, our morning consisted of some essential recovery lessons, like when and how to air down, using traction boards in the sand, tire repair, and winching, just to name a few. So we've been trucking along on this little access road here for probably six or seven miles now? Yeah, it's been probably a, longer than that. It's been a while, actually. You can obviously drive on the beach all the way. I like it back here, honestly. Um, where you're driving on the beach, it all kind of looks the same, mm -hmm. watching the waves and stuff. Uh, but back here, you can kind of see the variation of dunes. And, uh, There's a good like change of scenery. Agree. All right, so we are now in this lovely wooded area, still on Cape Lookout. This is the vegetation side. This is the emergency storm camping. Um, there's high winds coming. As you can see, the wind is starting to kick up some. This is the best protected spot for the rangers told us to be. So uh, we have moved down in here and got ourselves packed up. And we're starting to pack in the last few people and uh, I think we're gonna be good to go here. And you know what, Ron? The storms might be coming, but that doesn't mean the fun stops here. The fun the does fun not stop here. We, we, we've made some minor adjustments and we're still gonna be rolling along doing an overland adventure. With our new settlement in place, we ventured out to see the historic structures once occupied by the U.S. Coast Guard, lighthouse keepers, and their families. While fallen into disrepair, they remain as a reminder of the area's maritime heritage. Feeling bold, we even drove out to see the conditions of the beach, knowing we were going to get sandblasted. Why did it take anything else? Yeah, so what's for dinner, boys? We got teriyaki chicken kebabs. We got some pot stickers that'll be going on next. Pot stickers. And the move here Hand was. Made. Hand made. Pagoda pot stickers. The move here was cook the chicken so all this teriyaki juice is down in here. And then we and cook then the, pot the pot stickers, stickers on it. They cook in that, all that teriyaki sauce. You might say it wasn't intentional. May not be intentional, but I intend to enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ron, it's Sunday morning. The uh, storm shelter area here has totally cleared out. Um, this was a beautiful spot to kind of ride out the storm this weekend. We, I think we really lucked out here. Yeah, now that with, uh, most of the clients have gone off, um, there's literally like three clients still here waiting for ferries later this afternoon. Uh, they wanted to have some beach time. There's a couple that's going out and hang out by themselves, you know, so they get a little private time by themselves. Another gentleman is off uh, wheeling around and may meet up with us a little bit later, but uh, we're gonna go check out some stuff we couldn't check out because of the gale warning. Relax, try not to get too much sun. Yeah, that's the, that's the plan for today. That's the plan for today. time I was very happy with it I think we're gonna probably do this one again and but we had a lot of newbies that's why I did what we did the first day we had a lesson about airing down using max tracks you know some tread lightly principles and stuff things to do not to do out on the beach and the dunes when you're out in you know um, our national treasures how to keep them together and keep these resources open for everybody What an unforgettable trip it's been. From exploring the beaches of Cape Lookout to watching our clients gain confidence and push boundaries in their vehicles. We braved harsh weather with no consequence and made the most of our journey. Thanks for joining us on this overland adventure and be sure to look out for more trips with MLO and Ridgeback Guide Service coming soon.